welcome to Alexa's Kitchen. So I've decided to start a little cheese series. Not that I'm a great expert on cheeses, but I just want to share with you um, the little bit that I know. And um, the cheese platters, when I grew up in Europe, we usually had this after, um, after our main course. Now, but here in America, I also serve this like, you know, for when we just have a few people over when we have a glass of wine or so, or a glass of champagne. And um, so that's perfectly fine, serving this as an hors d'oeuvre also. So let me start with the brie cheese, which many of you know. It has that very distinctive white rind, which you can eat or leave on. That's really just personal taste. And um, it has this, um, this yellow buttery color almost. And it has a little bit of a tangy, nutty flavor to it. And um, the name brie cheese, um, the brie cheese comes from France, and it came over to America on apparently the first refrigerated vessel, which was called uh, Ile de France. And you can see even on the package of my little brie cheese, there's the, the little boat on there. So that's why you see the, the cheese is called Ile de Brie. Now, and then we have the Jarlsberg cheese, which has these very distinctive big holes in them. And the Jarlsberg cheese comes from Norway, from a village called Jarlsberg. That's where he got his name. And this is a, um, a cow's cheese also, like the Brie cheese. And um, the Jarlsberg cheese has a, um, a buttery, very soft flavor to it. And um, it's very nice sort of as a beginner's cheese if also if people are not so much into cheeses. This is a very nice and mild cheese. And um, the Manchego cheese, the third cheese that I chose, is um, comes from Spain. It's from the south of Madrid. It has that very distinctive um, rind here on the back. And there's four different kinds of Manchego cheeses. now. Here in America, I've only found um, this one kind, but there's, which has been um, aged for about a year or so. The very, very young Manchego cheeses are not even, you cannot find them here because they're only aged for two or three weeks and you can only find them in Spain. They never leave the country. And this is actually a um, sheep cheese and um, the breed of the sheep is um, Manchego cheap. That's where the cheese got its name because it's a cheap, it's a sheep cheese and it's got the name from the sheep um, where they use the milk to make this this cheese. So, um, and I like to serve my cheeses with um, maybe some nuts and some different kinds of fruits and on my website alexiskitchen.net I will have, you know, some detail of what kind of fruit and what kind of wines or champagnes uh, you can serve this with and um, just one more thing when you store your cheeses when you didn't eat them all you just want to put them in a bag but just sort of flip over the bag you want the cheeses to be able to breathe a little bit and then you can use them for your next party so I hope this helps and um, thank you again for joining me today in Alexis kitchen and um, I hope you like my say cheese series number one bye Thank you.